You people who don't have money must stop having kids if you're going to be problematic to people who don't have kids but have money. What kind of question is, what do you do with your money because you don't have responsibilities? Yeah, what are you doing with kids when you don't have money? Because if you're going to ask money from somebody who does not have kids and when they say they don't have it, then you feel so entitled to ask them, well, what are you doing with your money if you don't have kids? Then what are you doing with kids if you don't have money? Labora, man. I don't want to talk too much in 2024, guys. Please keep it down. Hmm. A lot of women are choosing to be child-free in 2024. Even before 2024, a lot of women have been saying, oh, we don't want to have children. It's not compulsory to have children. And really, at this point, at the stage in life right now, at the way the situation of the world is going, I won't fault any woman who doesn't want to have kids. I mean, some women are even saying they don't want to have kids because, not because of just the financial implication. They just want, don't want to have that burden of, you know, caring for another person, another individual, that's consigned, that body that needs to be there for someone else. And some people will say, oh, they are selfish. And then, so, like this woman was saying in the beginning of this video, you have children, you ask me for finances, and I tell you I don't have. And then you're telling me, oh, you don't have children, so what are you doing your money? I mean, like, <laughs> that is just wrong in every way possible. But hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess. Um, to all my returnees, you're welcome. And if you need, thank you so much. You're welcome to Banigos TV. Please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section about what you think about women being child-free, okay? Not wanting to have kids. Some people have called those who don't want to have kids selfish, okay? They go ahead and call them, oh, you're selfish. That's why you don't want to have kids. Anyway, today is modern sunday in nigeria not modern like killing but mother sunday but yeah the proper way to say it is modern sunday so today is mother's day in nigeria and the moms have been celebrated all over the world takes me to the old boss buzz that happened last week as she got a pregnant lady who came outside to announce her pregnancy and a lot of people had different opinion and different thoughts towards it a lot of people seemed you know to have a lot of opinion about this lady who came to you know talk about her being pregnant even though she said she wasn't going to be pregnant again and she came to reply them <laughs> she literally came to reply them right back giving them both bars calling them names and whatnot i'd allow you guys listen to her briefly and i'll be back so you now that is educated you didn't learn manners for school you don't learn manners for your school you just go to school but school no pass through you and you are claiming that you are educated you didn't know that education chose in your character if you are educated eh if you come outside or if you say something if you open your mouth and talk in public it will show whether you are educated or whether you are not. But these days, people claim everything and try to put others down just to make themselves feel better. But me, you cannot put me down. You know fit. They don't burn you where to put me down. Well, you heard her there. She also vowed that in this year, 2024, she's definitely going to counter every false narrative or any narrative she's not agreeing with about her. She's going to be giving it both glass, glass. I mean, it's okay for you to reply anybody that is giving you water, water, okay? <laughs> <laughs> even us that we used to come and talk about people yeah they used to reply also yeah it's okay but there was something she said that i was like hmm let's listen to her and i'll be back oh if i did family planning i should have showed you guys because i show you guys everything so why didn't i show you guys for the family planning when i did it i'm not sure that person has been watching my videos because i've said this countless and they, they i think after i gave birth to kyra the videos the subsequent videos that i did i told you guys that I was on family planning. I told you guys that I did not show you guys, maybe film it. Might be because of convenience. Maybe I was not, um, it was not convenient enough for me to film. And But I told you guys about it. I talked about it. I told you guys that I was on family planning. And I told you guys this, um, the circumstances surrounding the family planning package that I was given. And someone, I think about two people, said, ah, why would you be taking pills every day that is not meant to be taken every day that there she said that she take hers only when she wants to meet her husband and another person said something similar so i thought oh this pills is expensive now why am i taking it every day then i called my hobby i told him ah see see what my subscribers said and these people are also already experienced in motherhood so they know what they are talking about this is their own personal experience let's um reduce like let's stop taking this thing every day since we've done the first one month that the doctor said every day every day and it's very compulsory so let's be taking it once like any time that we want to meet we'll just take the pills, the doctor, the, my husband said, am I sure? 
I said yes now. These are my subscribers and I've always followed their advice. So there's nothing wrong with it. And they are talking about themselves. It's not even someone else. They are talking about their own experience. So that was how I started. I started taking these pills only when I met my husband from last year. Hmm. The advice she took from our audience was what resulted to the pregnancy because they advised don't take the pill every day and she felt oh since they are experienced individuals why not listen the truth is our bodies differ okay what works for a might not work for b and that is why even taking advice from social media sometimes we all need to be careful before you take any advice from anybody you need to speak to your doctor oh doctor look at this look at that and listen to what your doctor has to say about it doctor is advising you when your doctor advises you then you do what is best for you but social media advice hmm. that is why i say on this channel me i don't have any power to advise anybody i see content and i create let the commenters come and give their opinions okay when they give yes but for me to come and be advising i can only share what i think i feel like i think because because at the end of the day if you give advice and someone takes the wrong advice what happens or they take the advice and it backfires eh? like this one that happened to this lady right here anyway her name is if you world and if you're interested in her channel please go to her channel and watch more okay because i can't bring all the videos here now let's talk about real worry yes who is talking about her struggles her story and everything she has gone through as a mother she made a video celebrated herself she said that this is her 10 years as a mother and that she wanted to celebrate herself and she had a couple of things to say she had her experience about being a mother um real worry has been through a lot but i think she's really doing well for herself right now she's in a better place and i'll be dropping that video for you guys to listen to what real worry picking has to say area like this in my mind there is drink issues my mind have sugar fat you know why this is my mother's day shoot i'm very intentional about this mother's day this year because at the 10th year i don't be my mom i've been a mother for 10 years like you know it's not easy you know easy <laughs> i feel being a wife comes easy for me not be saying i'm easy like that so it just comes easy. but to be mama eh, be okay so I'm celebrating myself. It's a special Mother's Day for me. And I'm doing this with the one, the only, Banker Styles. I'm doing a no so shoot. This one, they're not so the clothes today. They put the fabric on my body. They don't drink my float. You don't understand. So I'm excited doing it. I'm celebrating myself as a mother. Celebrating every mother out there to say that we rock. Because there are many mothers stronger than the rock. They govern affairs far beyond the boundaries of Asso Rock. Carry bellies bigger than Zuma Rock. Because to birth nations no be small work. But we worry Pekin does it effortlessly. Afraid but fearlessly. You can't be like say she be John Cena, we know if seen now. But 10 years, even WWE is supposed to be the championship. Because trust mothers to raise Simbas. Young lions who will learn how to first raw once they come forth. Look at this mother who is still in her prime. You can't be like saying Afolo Kong. She's one who has sometimes reached her last bus stop. Too tired to move because the journey is still long. But look at her killing it. We raise a glass to every mother. Bold, unashamed, and winging it. We say that we see you. Being a mother is so many things. You're a caregiver, you're a lover, you're a wife, you're a nanny, the house girl, the cook, the chef, the house help, the cleaner, the caregiver. You're everything in your lifetime as a mother. Even when you're in, a, in your old age, you're the prayer warrior, you never stop. And then being a mother is not until you've actually gotten pregnant for nine months and then you bet a child. Uh, being a mother is caring, is loving. There are people who decided they are never going to have children of their own, but they are mothers in so many ways to other people's children. And I celebrate all women, all reasonable women, all women who are supportive, all women who are there for others, all women who will not backstab and 
backbite and kill their fellow women. I celebrate all women and I wish us all a happy Mother's Day. And I hope that God will continue to be there and protect us mothers. And even the men that are partners, that God would give them wisdom to deal with women because <laughs> our tantrums are not funny. Okay? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you watched up to this point, bye.